In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Nintendo Switch emulator Sadachi to Retrobat. Now, unlike the older gen consoles that already have emulators installed within Retrobat, Switch requires you to add your own emulators. So first, your emulators must already be set up before adding them. If you are confused about how to set up the Sadachi emulator, my full setup guide will be in the description below, as well as my full beginner's guide on how to set up Retrobat. So on my PC, I have two windows open so that I can access my SSD, where I have Retrobat, Sudachi, my keys, and a few Switch games installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that drive on both windows. Here I have a folder containing my keys, all of my retro bat files, the Sadachi emulator, and some Switch ROMs. So first we're gonna go ahead and open the retro bat folder. We're gonna go to emulators, and you're gonna wanna search for Sadachi. Here it is right here. And now I'm gonna open this folder up where I have Sadachi installed. And you wanna go ahead and highlight all of the files inside of that folder and drag them over into that Retrobat Sadachi folder. And now let's go ahead and open that user folder. And then inside of this folder, we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna drag my keys folder inside of the Sadachi user folder. And just to show you what's inside of my keys folder, I have my prod.keys and my title.keys. Also make sure you name that folder keys. Now let's go back. And in that retro bat folder, we're gonna go down to ROMs. And this time, we're gonna search for switch. Here's the switch folder. Now back over here, and we're gonna go ahead and highlight all of our Switch ROMs and just drag them into that folder. Now let's go back. Now let's go ahead and open Retrobat. And there we are, you see our Nintendo Switch folder, and if we go inside, there's my four Switch ROMs. Now let's get some cover art for these games. Let's go to the menu, go down to Scraper. If you aren't already logged in to Scream Scraper, go to Scraper Settings, go all the way to the bottom, and go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, go ahead and go back, and go down to Scrape Now. Give it a minute to find your media and images, once it's done, you want to go up to game settings and update game list. Yes. And there we are. We now have images and gameplay. Let's go back into the menu. Go to game settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And go to per system advanced configuration. Select switch, emulator, and you wanna select the emulator we just moved into that retro bat folder, which is Sadachi. And just to let you guys know, if you still have Yuzu or Ryu Jinx, or if you use Citron or Suyu, you can import those emulators into retro bat the same way that I did Sadachi. And I already had everything configured on that emulator before I moved it into that Retrobat folder, but if you didn't, you could change some of your configurations right here. Let's go back. And now we can go ahead and load up a game. And as you see, that game will load up. Thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you want to see a full setup guide of Retrobat or Sadachi, then both of those videos are in the description below, as well as being shown on screen right now. So you can click on either of those videos and check them out. <music>